Hey everyone, Brian Lagunas here. You know, what if I told you that if you've ever committed just a single line of code to any repo on GitHub, that I can hack GitHub and find your email and then sign you up for all these spam accounts just to have fun, just to annoy you. Don't believe me? Well, I can do it. And in this video, I'm gonna show you just how I can find your email address from a single commit on GitHub. Not only that, I'm gonna show you how to protect yourself and hide your email from this hack. All right, let's get right into it. Okay, so the first step to hacking someone's email is to go to GitHub. In this case, I'm at the Prism Library GitHub repo, and uh, I'm actually going to pick on Dan today. Let's pick on Dan. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to this commits area, right? So I'm just gonna see what commits have been made, and I'm gonna scroll down till I can find Dan. There he is, oh yeah. So let's select Dan, and now what I wanna do is I wanna find a commit that he made partially. So I'm gonna scroll on down and see, oh, there he is. He made a commit to the readme file back in July, so let's go ahead and click on this commit. Okay, so here's the commit. Doesn't look very important, right? Just some basic doc updates. Yeah, this is great, okay. But now, using this secret hacker trick, I'm going to hack GitHub and I'm going to find his personal information, namely his email address. So I'm gonna go up to the URI up here, and at the very end of the commit URI, I'm gonna type dot patch. Now, when we type dot patch, we're going to get information about this commit. What I wanna point out specifically is the from, look at that, from Dan Siegel, and here is his email address, his private email address. So everyone watching, please, please don't go sign him up for all these spammy accounts. That would just be so mean. <laughs> okay, but all, in all seriousness, don't do that. Don't do that, I'm, I'm, I'm just playing. Dan, I love you, I love you, my friend. Uh, no, instead, wouldn't it be great if you could like hide this information? You know, it, it's maybe not super important, but it's still some private information you might wanna keep private. So how do you keep this private? How do you prevent people from finding your private email address. Well, let's just go back a few steps here, and I wanna get to the GitHub website, right? It doesn't matter where you're at. What matters is that you can access your logged in account. So I'm gonna come up to this little menu here where my avatar is, where I'm logged in. Now I'm gonna scroll down, let me move my head to settings, right there. We're gonna click on settings. Now in settings, we wanna scroll down, and we wanna find the emails menu item here. So when we click emails, now it's gonna list your private email, your primary email address, backup emails, all that, but right here, right here is what's important. What you wanna do is you want to keep my email address private. We wanna check this box, okay? And when you check this box, it's going to give you another fake email address. In this case, it's some random number plus Brian Lagunas at users no reply.github.com, right? So this, this is going to be the generated email that is going to be used when people use that, uh, that little patch trick, right? This is what you get when you perform a, a Git operation with, with GitHub. Okay, so now just to test this out, let's go back, let's go back to the Prism repo, okay? Now what I wanna do is I wanna go to commits. Uh, let's find me here. And I'm gonna scroll down to where I can find a commit that I made, and it looks like I made one right there. Let's do our dot patch trick. And looky there, right here from, and it says Brian Lagunas at users.noreply.github.com. Okay, so I have hidden my personal private email from the public, from the world, okay? So you actually have to know me if you want my email address, okay? Uh, but this, this is essentially it. So if you just want that extra small layer of security to make yourself feel just a little more comfortable and at ease on the web, uh, I recommend checking that box in your mail settings on GitHub to prevent your private email from being exposed in your Git commit history. All right, I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, you know what to do, leave a comment below and I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.